Right, so <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done a uh, done a cigar review, and um, I have quite a backlog of things I need to taste and review for people. So um, I'm going to start off with something I was given not too well. I'm trying to think now, I might have been given this about three or four months ago. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get the pronunciation of this completely wrong. Tatajuea, Tatajuea, Tatis, as I'm calling them. Um, a new cigar released in the UK. Uh, they've been around for a while. I'm just on their website at the moment. Um, um, it's no Cuban leaf in it. It's made to be in a, a Cuban style. Um, it's actually hand rolled in Miami. Um, contains Nicaraguan filler, Nicaraguan binder, um, and it's got an Ecuadorian Habana seed wrapper on it. Um, do, 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 let's see if I find a bit more information on. It uses a Cuban style triple cap, which it has. And there's not a great deal anything else on there. They're a medium bodied, they're medium to full bodied. Um, basically, the, the, the cigar's got a, a very, very light aroma. There's no fuss to it. It smells like it's gone through a good fermentation process. You get with a lot of um, non Cuban cigars, they don't ferment them as much, and you get a horrible kind of fustier aroma, um, ammonia. I call it fish food aroma. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, it's got plenty of spring in it, so it should be okay. I've uh, the only cutter I can find. Actually, I've really just tidy up this bloody office. Is my uh, my Diolifa, my Diolifa cutter from Holland, um, which luckily has a Solingen blade in it. So I'm hoping I get a pretty decent cut. I've never used this cutter before. Really do hope this cutter doesn't destroy it. No, that cuts beautifully. So. The pre-light draw is very, very little. Um, it's got a nice draw to it though, not having to put much effort to draw through, but not getting a great deal of flavours. The aroma, a little bit of woods, sort of spices. It smells like a Cuban, basically. That's what they're aiming for. Um, it doesn't say it doesn't smell like your Nicaraguan, you don't have that overpowering, spicy, like Ligero kind of smell. Nicaraguan Ligero, I much prefer to Cuban Ligero. Um, but anyone from Hunter and Frank Al, Cuban Cigar Company watching, I didn't just say that. So uh, let's just light this bad boy up and, uh, and we shall see. First drawer's got a lovely creamy texture to it. There's some woods and some very, very delicate spices there lingering at the back. Mm. There is a subtlety of spice there. So not a lot. Um, some lovely woods to it. It's got a nice mellow finish um, not much intensity to this so far um, it's got some subtle dirts slightly cinnamony very delicate cinnamony finish to this the burn is brilliant This is to burn so far. I'd use it to draw a straight line. The draw is effortless. Like I say, construction wise, this cigar is very well made. There are a few veins on it. I don't see any patches anywhere. But no. So um I'm gonna carry on with the first I'll do this in half. I carry on with the first half. And I'll let you know how she progresses. Um, old world Cuba style. It's got a little bit there, but it does have the very typical Nicaraguan sort of taste. I say it's not quite fusty, but it's got that 
hard to explain. It's almost like a dark chocolate, subtle baking spice sort of Nicaraguan tang to it. I love Nicaraguan cigars. I love the the bigness of the flavour and the Havana's Cubans. I like for more delicacies and more intricacies in flavour, more layers of taste. But Nicaraguans I like for full on, say earthy, dirty, slightly chocolatey, slightly spicy flavours. But anyway, I'm going to um, like I say, smoke the first half of this. And I shall be back to let you know how she's progressing. So uh, I shall speak to you in a moment. Right. Hey, sorry about that. I got my uh, size completely wrong on this. This is the uh, the Cafe Noella. Sorry. This is the uh, 5 and 1 8 by 42. Um, it's still the same, but from what I gather, the ones made for the UK are rolled in Nicaragua rather than in Miami. Um, always pays to do your research before you start opening your mouth. Should have learnt this lesson. I've been doing these videos and reviews long enough and done this several times. Um, but anyway, back to the cigar. Um, I'm about at the at the halfway point now. Um, it's a beautiful little cigar. Starts off light, starts building and building in flavour. Um, the finish is amazing. Um, it's kind of got some lovely, it's a lovely earthy with some sweet sort of cedary woody tones to it. There's a very small amount of. It's not quite a herby grassy kind of finish, but it's got quite it's. Somewhere between be vanilla beans um, and I say a herby grassy finish. The inhale is very smooth. Um, it does carry a decent amount of nicotine. Uh, I always refer to this, as you know, as burly throat. And I'm just getting a little bit of burly throat from this right now. Um, I did have a problem with the burn. Uh, canoed a little bit, but I touched light. We're back up and running. I have no cone. Um, the ash, if I can pick it up. No, it's falling apart. Um, the ash is kind of a, from whites to dark greys. Um, but I say it's a nice smoke. The flavour just kind of just creeps up on you. Um, the price of these sticks, recommended retail, is just over £10 a stick for them. Um, once you hit the midpoint... The inhale is very, very creamy. Um, there's some sweetness to it as well. It's kind of a sweet and creamy. Not as sweet as Romeo and Julieta. It's verging on being the sickly, sickly kind of back of the throat sweet. Um, lots and lots of woods in the drawer. Uh, there's some subtle beans there. I say there's a very small amount of spice on the finish. Just lingers at the back of the palate, but on the whole, it's those earthy, sweet, woody flavours. Um, it's a very, very, very nice cigar. It's a little bit like a punch with a bit more balls to it sort of thing. Not quite as much as a Ramon Alona especially selected amount of balls, but we're kind of in between there. Um, I can see that people in the UK would like these. It'd be suitable for a lot of people's palate. Um, a lot of people would be put off with the fact that it's Nicaraguan and not Cuban. Um, many of our American counterparts can't believe us when they say how hard it is to get people to try. Things like these, things like Padron, things like Oliva... Fuente I used to struggle with, um, so much so that they've been taken off general import now, uh, been taken over by Mitch at Seagars, so um, pretty much Seagars are the only people with Fuente now, it took me a long time to get people into Fuentes, but, but these are great. Say some beautiful subtle spices. And enough body to, to keep you entertained. It starts off light, but like every good cigar, every drawer is a journey. And um, I hit the halfway point. I'm assuming I'm at the sweet spot, but if this keeps on growing, I might have more, more wonderful things to rave and shout about these cigars. So, um, any of you interested, I do stock them. They're not on my website yet. I'm uh, waiting until after the, uh, the dreaded uh, b -b 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 budget on Wednesday. We're expecting another 6% 6 increase on duty. Um, that's what they said they'd do last year. The devil will be in the details. We'll find out what's going to happen. Um, I mean, that's basically going to... Well, it won't make a great deal of difference to cigars, but to pipe, rolling in cigarettes, it's going to be horrible to the prices of those. So, um, like I say, I'm going to crack on with this, and I shall be back at the end, and I shall be able to give you a little bit more information on these. So, uh, I'll see you in a moment. Right, um... Just hit a slight snag with this cigar. Um, I seem to have hit a hard spot. 
Um, it's taken me a lot of effort to draw through, and it's kind of exploded on me a little bit. Um, I wasn't getting a draw. I hit a bit of a plug. I had no problems up until then. It burned beautifully. Went out mid-draw. Um, it seems to have gone past it. So, a bit of a problem with the um, construction of this. So it's been kept pretty well. Um, it's kept in one of my smaller humidors. A lot easier for me to maintain the humidity in there. I keep a lot of my single six in that cigar, in that humidor. But um, but yeah. Luckily, I've got past it. So like I say, a bit of a problem with the plug just then. But you persist and you get rewarded. Right, so I'm pretty much pretty much coming down to the end of this now. Um, I have had more problems with the burn. It's just I'm burning on one side and the leaf's going quite hard and quite dry. Um, I did that did have this in Cuba with the um, Casa del Habana Hoyo Royal Magnum or Royal Robusto. Royal Robusto it was a lot of problems with that. Uh, a few other people had some other other issues over there. Um, yeah, it seemed to be a, a theme of the trip. But when you're smoking, I think between us we got through a couple of hundred cigars. You're always bound to get a few a few bad ones. Um, I don't know if this is true. Uh, a couple of my customers always commented that Habanos always used to say with a natural product in a box of 25, you're bound to get a few bad ones. When you've got sort of 10 people there smoking cigars constantly, you're bound to get a dozen bad ones. <laughs> so... Like I say, I'm coming towards the end. This, the final half of this cigar, as mentioned in the first half, these some very kind of coffee, um, vanilla beanie kind of herby kind of flavours. They really come through in the second half. The spice is all but gone. Uh, it's got a slightly salty finish to it now, um, but the flavours are still there. Say the earth, the sweet woods. Um, say the spice is gone, which I'm a little bit disappointed in. But the, this lovely kind of fresh. Oh, this tangy herbaceous finish it's got to it is amazing. Oh. There is a few other, like I say, slight spices, slight hickory, um, almost barbecue like flavours to it. I really enjoy this cigar. The flavour, the strength, the taste, I say, is a medium, but it, it carries nicotine to it. Um, you know, it's just. It's it's a beautiful cigar. Um, sorry that my face is all whited out here. I've opened the curtains because the sun was shining a couple of minutes ago. Um, smoke time. It's a pretty quick smoke. Um, being only five and an eighth of an inch long, uh, as you would expect. Um, again, sorry about my cock up. And the information about the cigar at the beginning. Uh, this is what you get for guessing. No, I'm going to tattoo you away a website. And um, I basically chose the wrong one. Uh, it's the Noello that I've got here. Um, like I can say these aren't made in America. Like the ones on the website are. Um, I believe there was one or two that is produced, uh, produced over by Jamie Garcia at my father's cigars. It's the Petit Tatuaya um, and the Seventh. Now... We have the Noella in the UK. Uh, I'll tell you about the sizes we can get. We have the Cafe Noella, the Cafe Number no. 7, the Cafe Reserva, and the Petit Casadores Reserva. Now, it's bizarre. Um, they seem to be different to the ones that, um, that are listed on the website, so there may be slight variations to the ones available in the States. I don't know why. Um, some good handmade American cigars would be pretty good for the British market. Um, tour imports who import these are doing a lot to try and promote the New World cigars. And a couple of American stogies in the mix would be quite nice, to be honest. But, anyway, back to the cigar. It's a great little smoke. Um, Twenty-five minutes, thirty minutes I've been smoking this. 
aside from the issues with the burn, kind of the plug in, the tobacco going hard and it kind of almost exploding and fluting out on me at the end, it's been a very, very pleasurable smoke. It is getting a little bit more accurate at the end. Um, it's concerning because there's still a, a, a small amount left on this. Um, many of you probably know I don't like to let any of the cigar go to waste. A few were laughing at me while I was in Cuba because I'm trying my hardest to sort of just pinch a bit of the wrapper and smoke the dying half inch of a few sticks. But but this has been, like I say, a very, very pleasurable smoke. Um, we don't like the word complexity. So the dynamics of the smoke are, are wonderful. It's a journey, even for such a small little smoke. It has a lot of character to it. Even now the flavours are still progressing. I'm getting more sort of, like I say, more salty, creamy flavours from it. The herby finish is beautiful. I'd love the spice to come back, but um, you can't have everything. So, if you ever get the chance to try one of these, if you're a fan of medium, pushing medium to full-bodied cigars, give one a try. They're definitely worth a go. Like I say, I mean, these aren't a particularly expensive cigar, um, and they're definitely worth a try. So, thank you very, very much for watching. This has been a very, very disorganised review. Uh, luckily, I am going to actually type this one up again for a change, so at least my written version will be a little bit more structured and not all over the place. And thank you very, very much for watching. Um, but like I say, please, if you're in the UK, give one of these a try. Um, there are so many good cigars out there. Just because they don't say Habanos in the top corner, just because they're not made in Cuba, does not mean you should overlook them. Some of these cigars deserve the chance to be tried um, the embargo has been on for so long um, between America and Cuba um, the cigars manufacturers have had a lot of time to perfect what they're doing to do wonderful things with aging and fermentation and the Cubans tend to stick with things more traditional whereas your new world cigars they're prepared to do things a little bit more unusual and go for something a little bit completely different um, so yeah, like I say, please give them a try. They have their place in the market and everybody should at least try a couple of them. And these are one of the ones that should be on your to try list. So like I say, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, there will be a lot more cigar reviews coming from me in the future, I promise. As well as my pipe tobacco, snuff, cigarettes, rolling tobacco, general banter. So take care boys and girls. See you all soon. Goodbye.